several years ago, my husband and I bought an abandoned church uh, near our cabin. Then we thought that we would turn it into a studio for me. Uh, my had big plans. Of course, this was all before the pandemic happened. And uh, my plan was to actually use this as a building for hosting classes, uh, whether it be weaving or or whatever, whatever type of uh, mountain craft type class I felt like having at the time. Uh, it's a beautiful property. There used to be a lot more woods around, but they've the neighbors have actually cleared a lot of that out over the last couple of years, which is is good and bad. It was it was nice when we at first that we had kind of a uh, the little old church in the middle of the woods feeling. Um, but it's actually a lot better uh, for the building to not be quite so shaded. So this is the deep south and the mildew runs rampant. And a, you're not going to be here every day trying to keep control of it. It can get out of hand fairly quickly. So I thought I'd show you around a little bit. So when we first bought the place, it didn't look anything like this. <laughs> Actually, the only thing left that's original is the siding on the outside of the building and the windows. Uh, other than that, it, pretty much everything's been replaced from even the um, joists underneath this floor were replaced. This was, it was a primitive Baptist church, which was very, very uh, plain in their beliefs. They didn't believe in any ornamentation or anything like that. So this was a very, uh, just a very simple room. Uh, the floors had, because of moisture and termites throughout the years, had been, uh, the floor and the joists had, some of them had been damaged. So it actually was very, um, spongy as you walked across the floor and actually right under the pulpit which is up there where that uh my design wall is hanging now uh had he gotten a little into fire and brimstone a little more excessively he might have been falling through the floor because there was not much holding things up uh the previous owner uh uh who bought it from the church, uh, unfortunately took all of the pews, um, and that sort of thing. It's, I don't know that I would have used them anyway, so it's probably a good thing, but, uh, they were kind of a neat, rustic old pews, M more rustic than what you'd think. I mean, it literally looked like just boards thrown together. Uh, but it was kind of neat because there was some, there were some names carved in them and that sort of thing, which, you know, I'm into that history stuff. Uh, so as we look around, I'll, uh, See if I can get this thing to show you what I want it to. Here we go. This is the, there's a, a men's and a women's restroom um, on each side of this entrance. Right now I, we just have the toilet and the sink. I need to get the, the mirror and medicine cabinet put up at some point. Uh, but I'm using it, this front build part of the space for my studio. So I've brought in, I've just brought in some old junk pieces of furniture and I've redone them. Uh, that you'll see as we go through, I have a couple of my looms here. Um, the I'll probably be taking one of them home once I get the back of the studio in the north uh, fixed up. But for now, it's taking up residence here. Uh, there's another... Uh, restroom over here. I clearly don't need a men's and a women's restroom, so we're probably going to use this one more for storage than anything. Let's see if I can get this to go all night. Uh, we, when I say we replace everything, I mean everything. We, even the electrics new, the plumbing's new, the, uh, well, heating and air's new because someone had come along and stolen the copper out of the unit that was outside before we bought the place. Um, so yeah, it's actually the ceiling is still old. We, we were able to save the ceiling. 
Um, unfortunately, it used to have a, I'll insert some pictures of what the place used to look like. It had a nice little steeple uh, on the front of the church, but um, it was causing the roof to leak. And when we, when we replaced the roof, we decided that the steeple was gonna have to go. Otherwise it would be, just be a constant battle of trying to make that uh, not leak. So, uh, so I've kind of broken up this space into uh, certain areas. This over here in the back is my, where I quilt. Uh, found an old uh, desk that I had my husband cut half the legs off of, so it'd be <laughs> short enough for me. Um, and I used that for sewing. The These big long tables and stuff were here in the back part of the building, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so that was kind of nice to use as a, a cutting table. Um, I'm trying to set up an area over there for spinning. I'm hoping to bring in a rug and some comfortable chairs to for to sit and spin. I have some general craft stuff over there in that corner um, that I didn't know what else to do with when we were moving houses and that sort of thing. They, I'd kind of like to have them back up north, but at this point, they're gonna stay here until we get some more space figured out up there. It's a lot of my, I used to do rubber stamping and um, scrapbooking. And I used to sell both Stampin' Up! and Close to My Heart. And so it's the remnants from that era of my life. Um, and then this was my uh, my stepfather's grandmother's quilting frame. So she would have been my great-grandmother. I, um, I do remember her. She did die as a child, but I do remember her. And one of her quilts that hadn't been finished... So that's a goal of mine is to get that quilted someday. The area back here I have set up for, for weaving. And then I have these extra tables uh, for if somebody wants to come and join me and they want to bring their sewing machine or their whatever craft they want, they can come and sit. And uh, One of the things down here, we definitely have uh, neighbors that like to come over and chat. And they're, it's one of the best communities I've ever lived in as far as that goes. Super, super friendly people. The, I do want to show this piece. This was something my mother made back in the 70s. I mean, it screams 70s, doesn't it? It was a cruel embroidery. I love it. She hates it. She, every time she sees it, she thinks I should burn it, but I think it's cool. I keep trying to come up with an idea of how I could hang pictures or something on it to make it into a family tree. I haven't quite gotten there yet. I haven't figured out what how how to do it exactly without making it look like, you know, I'm kind of crazy, which maybe I am, but <laughs> um, anyway, it still needs a lot of work. So the walls are um, intended to be painted. Actually, they were originally intended to only be painted at the very top and then stained on the walls, but um, there was a lot of paint overspray whenever the guys did the painted the ceiling and so I think at this point we have no choice but to paint it. Um, I think my stain idea originally was going to be too dark anyway. I love the fact that there's so much light in this room. It's just, you know, tons and tons of light. I do need to get some blinds up someday because it, and it needs to say in the summertime it really heats up in here. Uh, so anyway, this is my Studio South. It's nice and quiet. There is over, I'll show you out the window here. I can open the door. So up in this area, you won't be able to see it from here, but there's a spring that comes out of that part of the mountain and runs down and it is, especially in the spring, it's a, you know, you can hear the babbling of the brook and all the wildlife around, and it's just wonderful to sit here. I can open the door and listen to the water all day. The back half of the building, this would have been where they had a kitchenette. They had a kitchenette over here. The um, refrigerator and the stove were long gone because they had become uh, nests for 
mice and snakes. It was not, <laughs> not a pleasant experience when we first got here. Uh, it was bad. I, I have pictures that I will uh, show you, but it's, it was really, really bad. I, I'm not sure how, it had been years and years and years that this building sat empty. So right now we're just using it for storage, really, and for a place to sit, you know, we can work on projects we have. Um, Mike is building some storm windows for the cabin. And so he's got those over here that he's now painting. Uh, we have storm windows from the front of this building that need to be repaired. Uh, all kinds of projects. We have a mattress to an old bed that's over here. Uh, he uses it as an office sometimes while he's here. More storage. M most of these what you're looking at are projects that need to be completed, things I need to repair, do, whatever. Uh, I have some care chaining to do, some some rug hooking to do, and some needle punch, because I need to fix that old rocker, uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, we have an old bed that needs some repair. Our first plan originally was that this back half was going to be a small, uh, uh, a living room area, a kitchen area, and a couple of bedrooms along with a bathroom. Uh, since building prices have gone up four times what we originally planned uh, at this point, we're cooling our jets and we're just holding off and waiting to see what happens. My husband would very much like to sell this place. Um, I would very much like not to. So we're kind of at a standstill <laughs> as far as spending money goes. On, on this location. But I just thought I would show you around, show you what's going on. This is, I'm, today I'm gonna sit here and work on my soldier's cot quilt for Ka Kathleen Tracy's uh, Facebook group. She has a sew along and so I'm gonna do that and then later on I'll head back to the cabin. Thanks for stopping by.